Welcome one and all to another taste test video. We have eight varieties of goldfish to see which one our pet raccoon Piper likes best. Like always, these videos are filmed over multiple days to keep Piper from having too many treats. Despite common belief, Piper is not overweight. Up first, we have baby goldfish versus original. Piper will be answering the age old question, does size really matter? Here we have our lovely assistant setting the stage. And now for the games to begin. All right, so Piper has finally arrived. So which one will she end up choosing? And right off the bat, she's sniffing the original flavor, but then immediately turns her attention to the baby goldfish. Oh, and the first bite is for baby goldfish. Looks like there's hope after all, men. She gave the original goldfish another try. Now that she has sampled both, it'll be interesting to see how this one pans out. And just like that, she's back to the baby goldfish. It's looking like the baby goldfish is our winner. Oh, what do we have here? She appears to be getting quite comfortable. I don't think it gets any clearer than this, folks. Baby goldfish is the definitive winner. Up next is pizza versus parmesan. If I had to guess, I don't think parmesan is going to hold any weight in this competition. I would bet on that delicious pizza flavor to win over our little raccoon's heart. After all, I've seen her carry off slices of stolen pizza from the trash, but now we have that delicious flavor in bite-sized pieces. I don't know how she's going to be able to resist. But what is this? She's going directly to the parmesan. Is she just giving the competition a chance, or is it so delicious it draws her right in? And the first bite goes to Parmesan. Already Parmesan is getting more traction than I thought it would. She gives a brief look towards pizza and quickly turns away. She snubbed that pizza flavor faster than most of y'all's chance at a second date. It's not looking good to one of America's most popular foods, pizza. Bite after bite, crunch after crunch, she goes after those Parmesan crackers. Now she's taking a little detour to try the pizza flavor. Did y'all hear that? She picked up the pizza goldfish and dropped it to the floor below, metaphorically bearing her competition. The crowd goes wild with these turn of events. Without missing a beat, she goes to town on those Parmesan crackers. She sits down to signify she has chosen. Now she's just gonna sit back and enjoy the spoils. Parmesan takes the win. Up next we have Flavor Blasted Pizza Goldfish vs Whole Grain Goldfish. After the last matchup with Pizza vs Parmesan, I'm a bit shaken up over the loss. My confidence in Flavor Blasted Pizza isn't as strong as I once thought, but surely it's still a stronger choice than Whole Grain. We have Piper strolling in now, and right off the bat she chooses the Whole Grain. What kind of world do we live in where the raccoon chooses the quote unquote healthy cracker over the Flavor Blasted Pizza? You all have bullied Piper to the point of only going after healthy flavors. Piper's so fat and chunky and needs a diet, y'all say. While your raccoon is overweight, y'all say. Now you have her so self-conscious she's choosing the whole grain flavor over the Flavor Blasted Goldfish. Piper, just so you know, the vet said you were healthy and you don't need to listen to them. They don't know anything about raccoons and that raccoon anatomy just makes you look fat even when you aren't. But there you have it folks, whole grain is the winner. Our next contestants are Flavored Blasted Cheddar and Sour Cream versus Colored Goldfish. At this point I can scarcely tell if flavor means anything to Piper, so we'll have to wait and see which comes out on top. What the heck, did the assistant just eat a goldfish? How did this guy even get this job? Probably a little bit of nepotism going on if you ask me. 
What'd you say? He's related to the raccoon? Figures. Okay, so right off the bat, she heads towards the flicker blasted goldfish. Maybe she has some sense after all. And just as quickly she came, she's headed over to the colored goldfish. Already, it's not looking good for the flavor blasted. After snubbing the flavor blasted time after time, you begin to question what's really going on. Maybe it's not a health choice like we first thought, though, but more of a refined palate. Piper can taste through the extra frills and gimmicks and get down to the meat of it. And here she says the colored goldfish have a better flavor profile, not clogged by the extra seasoning. And if you ask me, that's what these taste tests are all about. Figuring out once and for all which goldfish is truly the best. And Flavor Blasted is nothing more than cheap tricks and a bag of lies. But let's get back to it and see this deliberation. She walks off to be alone with those colored goldfish, but we're not letting her off that easy. Even with those Flavor Blasted back up close, she still turns to the colored goldfish. But let's see if we can change her mind. With one last nudge, we finally piqued her interest. She's giving them another try. Did you see that? Piper did the oldest trick in the book. She did the old switcheroonie. She made it seem like she was picking up the flavor blasted, but in reality it was only the colored goldfish. She had it stashed away when we weren't looking. That deep orange color is a dead giveaway. And without missing a beat, she's back at the colored goldfish. This is so one-sided. She kicked those flavor blasted goldfish out once and for all. And now she's heading towards the bowl of colored goldfish. Probably to get away from that overwhelming smell of flavored blasted ones. She's taking a quick detour to open a drawer. I'm not sure where she's going with this. No way, she actually got the drawer open. Piper said I'm tired of your games flavor blasted goldfish and I need to get away. We can't be bothered being seen with that flavor blasted nonsense. I can't believe what I'm seeing here. She's pulling those colored goldfish over like she's at a picnic. With a reaction like this, I'll have a hard time believing that colored goldfish won't bring home the bacon. Now we're moving into the semi-finals. Up first we have baby goldfish versus whole grain. We were surprised by both, so it's anybody's guess as to who will win. Piper has entered the stage. She gives a test sniff to each of our competitors. She definitely appears to be spending more time at the baby goldfish. And the first bite belongs to goldfish. From what we have seen so far, this spells disaster for our whole grain competitor. Now it appears she's coming back for a second round. Will the second bite seal the deal, or will we see the tables turn in favor of whole grain? She appears to be struggling with getting another goldfish out. I wonder how this delay will affect things. Will she grow tired of trying and give up and head over to the whole grain? Or will she persevere and get that goldfish she's working so hard to get? It turns out she's going to go for the lower hanging fruit and take one from the bowl. I don't think this initial struggle will affect her choice after all. And she dropped it. What does that mean for the future of baby goldfish? She's headed over to try out the whole grain. It appears she's liking what she sees. It's so good she's running off with it. Now she's back to load up on some more before taking off once again. But there you have it folks. Whole grain takes the win. An important win at that. Moving on to the last matchup before the finale. We have Parmesan Goldfish vs. Colored Goldfish. After the absolute embarrassment between Colored Goldfish vs. Flavor Blasted Cheddar and Sour Cream, I'm having a hard time imagining a scenario where Parmesan will actually win this round. It appears we had a fan sneak onto the field to taste test the goldfish. By the looks of it, he chose the Parmesan. I wonder if our raccoon friend will share the same sentiment. Here we go, Piper has entered the arena. She knows the scent of both of these all too well. I have a feeling she will sniff them out in an effort to size up these two competitors. After our furry friend chose the Parmesan, I'm not so sure this round belongs to the color goldfish like I once did. She's nonchalantly reaching for those Parmesan crackers. Did we see some foreshadowing earlier, or are we going to have another upset like those baby goldfish? And already she chose to sit down by the Parmesan. 
We know that once this happens, she's here to stay. Let's see how strong her decision is. Let's move them and see. Hey, come on, let me move them real quick. Come on, it's for the show. Okay, now that we got her up, will she choose the Parmesan once again? And already she's moving towards those colored goldfish. Did she make too hasty of a decision earlier? It wasn't too long ago where she dragged the whole bowl of colored goldfish away. It seems like she made such a quick decision based on how strong her connection was. But it seems like she's just going to casually throw it all away. Everything they've been through, everything they experienced, just for a taste of those Parmesan goldies. She drags the bowl to her once again, sealing in her final answer. Parmesan wins the round. In a last ditch effort, Piper tries to snatch as many goldies as possible before moving on to the next round. This is not looking good for her competitors. Now for the round we have all been waiting for. Which goldfish is truly the best flavor of them all? We have Parmesan versus Whole Grain. I've gotten it wrong every single time tonight, so your guess is probably better than mine as who will take home the cake. And right away, Piper goes for the Parmesan. I'm not sure why she's trying to be so discreet. Maybe because she doesn't want her true love, the whole grain, to notice one last snack before she comes to it? But here we go. Piper is checking out the whole grain. She is shoveling those crackers in her face like it's the last time she's going to see them. I don't know what it is about those whole grain goodness that she likes so much, but with such an aggressive snatch of that bowl, you know there is no other cracker for her than those delicious whole grain. Once again, Piper sits down to enjoy her spoils, putting the last nail in the coffin, making whole grain the top dog. I definitely didn't see that coming, but there you have it folks, whole grain is the undisputed winner, claiming the title of the tastiest goldfish. If you like this video, chances are you'll like some of our others. Stick around to watch more videos from our channel, or visit the links in our description to pick up raccoon paintings and other merch. Thanks for watching!